why you should change your office hours next week. As I stood outside one of my adjusting rooms, I overheard a husband and wife chatting, and the wife said to the husband, she goes, I wonder what Dr. Tom's office hours are going to be this month. The husband says, wisely says, I guess it depends what holidays they're on or what sports his kids are playing. And I smiled deeply inside you guys because it affirmed something I knew to be true, that what you want wants you. I wanted to be a part of my daughter's lives. I wanted to be an important part of their lives. And so I adjusted my office hours on a regular basis based upon allowing me to be a part, an important part of my daughter's lives to do things like spend time out at our amazing Wilderness Lodge. Many of the thousands of people I've coached over my 20-year consulting career get on the entrepreneur's bandwagon because they want to set their own hours. They want to work when they want and come when they want and take holidays when they want, but they quickly become slaves to their own ambition and to their own practices. And they actually have had many powerful chiropractors who are jealous of the people that are coming into their practice because they see them coming in at, you know, flexible times and there's where are they off to? Oh, I'm off to my daughter's ballet recital. I'm off to my son's play. I'm off to the sporting event. And they actually start to become jealous of their own practice members, foolishly thinking that they can't take the time off, foolishly thinking that they can't change and adjust their office hours to fit their life because that's why they became entrepreneurs in the first place. A lot of the problem that I've found over the years is rooted in a scarcity consciousness, a belief system that says that there's only so many people on the earth uh, that want to come and see them, that there's only uh, X number of people. That is scarcity consciousness. There are billions of people on the planet and there are an enormous number of people who want what you want that want to come. They work flexible jobs. They have flexible lives. They can come when you want them to come. It's a bell curve, people. 10, 80, 10. 80% 80 of the people will come when you ask or tell them to come. 10% will come with a little bit of persuasion and 10% doesn't matter what the hell you do. You could go to their house and it wouldn't be good enough. So what you want to do is focus on things that make you happy and make you blissful because that's why you became an entrepreneur and truthfully you're going to be more present time conscious. I don't want to get an adjustment from you if you're in a state of resentment and frustration. Right? The other belief system I see people buying into is too much of a focus on Newtonian physics where they're focused on the old school stuff instead of quantum physics which teaches us that E equals MC squared squared and that all matter is just energy moving slowly. So thoughts are things. This is the piece that people forget and they're just energetic equivalents that go out to the universe. What you want wants you. Focus on what you want and build the business you want and the people will come to do that. If that means shifting and changing your office hours, I encourage you to, to consider that really quickly. What you want wants you. That is a truth in quantum physics and the law of attraction. So I would encourage you to really dig deep and say, what is it that I truly want my life to look like? And what is it that's blocking me from getting there? If it's truly just not getting a crystal clear definition of your definition of success, I encourage you to download the exercise associated with this particular video so that you can get that crystal clarity. I encourage you to dig deeply into why it is you're an entrepreneur, what it is you love, and if your office hours are not ideal for you, then change them. I change my office hours practically every month for years and years and years when my children were young because the family's my highest value, I wanted to be an important part of their life, and I was able to do that. Because I didn't buy into scarcity consciousness, the people came. This is Dr. Tom challenging you to be more so you can do more and have more of what your heart authentically desires.